What's up everyone? We are going to be heading out to a friend's house. We are going to be uh, We're gonna be getting some peppers we're gonna get some tomatoes gonna to get some a bunch of stuff We'll see if this is enough plastic bags um, Yeah, give me just a few and we'll be heading out there Sorry about, for the bad angle Puppers is being a spaz Trying to get him out trying to get everything in my hands trying to head out so as you can see there he's ready to go aren't you yeah I'm not even sure if that hit him so if it didn't I apologize for now we're gonna put you there not sure how long that's gonna last but if it sits it sits and if it fits it fits okay Bubba Got you buckled in. Got my bags to put all the stuff in. So at this point, my plan is to get as many of these peppers as I can. We're gonna actually make some salsa there because she's never made salsa. I gotta remember how to cook it down. That's the one thing I remember. I can make garden fresh salsa all day long. Problem is I don't 100% recall when you uh, cook it down, how long you cook it down for. I know it's to a simmer. Hold on, we're turning. Oh. Ah. I know when you cook it, you have to let it simmer for so long. And then once it's simmered so long, you pretty much take it off, heat, can it, and put it in the fridge for it to cool off. I'm just gonna have to look at that, but that's the easy part. It sounds like, from what I've been told, there's a metric shit ton of jalapenos, habaneros. Um, I don't know why you would go this route, but non-spicy habaneros. Um, and then apparently I had requested her to grow some peppers that she put in her garden, and I don't remember doing that. I know that I asked for pepperoncinis, but I know that the pepperoncinis never made it to the garden, so <clears throat> we'll, uh, we'll definitely see when we get there. What we're, what we're working with. Uh, there's a lot more here than I thought. Um, so we're probably gonna get the tripod set up and we will see what happens. Oh, that is a big ass grass on there. Here, I swear I'm not gonna feed you to my chickens. Yeah, you're gonna get fed to my chickens. Sorry about your luck. Aw, don't look at me, now I feel bad. I won't feed you to the chickens. I wouldn't feel bad, I'd feed the chickens. <laughs>
Okay, you saw us get the peppers. Now it's time to make the salsa. Leave my recipe back out here. You can see the hob already. Got the green pepper. Got the cilantro. Got the tomatoes. They were cut yesterday, so they should still be good. So we're gonna make probably a couple batches and then go from there. So this recipe calls for one and a quarter pounds ripe Roma tomatoes. Zero it out again. We'll take our onions out of here. That right there is 10 ounces. So, get the knife out. Steal it. Gotta have that good sharp knife. And we'll cut the top off. That puts us at 15 ounces. This will be too many. We'll go half. 1.2. Huh! 1 1.4 exact. Couldn't uh, couldn't ask for a more exact number there. And you know what? Actually, what we're gonna do, this feller has the top on, so we're gonna take that out, put that in. A little extra tomatoes not gonna hurt anything. that shook into the bottom. Get our one can, right? One 14 ounce. Gosh. That good suction. Dump that in. Two green onions. Just gonna take those two, cut the ends off. Kind of do one of those. I don't use the tips either. I am weird like that. And put you inside. One third cup chopped red onion. So that's close. We're not ever doing exact here, so. And you can tell here, this is going to be pretty full to start. Um, but it should shrink quite a bit. Oh, that smells good. Cut you off. Roughly chopped. Love the smell of fresh garlic. Two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. We're gonna go with store-bought lime juice. I really didn't want to squeeze. Had a little bit of extra, so I'm gonna go light on the second. Half a teaspoon of chili powder. Half a teaspoon. Well, I don't have exact with this. So we're gonna do about that. Call it good. Quarter teaspoon of ground cumin. So we're going to do about that. Call it good. 
half a teaspoon of granulated sugar, optional. I'm going to go ahead and pop that in. Just to help get some of the acidity gone. Salt and pepper to taste. There's the salt. Some pepper, adds to my taste. And the last thing we have is the habanero. And I've learned, because I have ghost peppers from Reapers, that no matter what hot pepper I use, I always put gloves on, just for the fact that I don't want the capsaicin to come back and haunt me hours later. I'm going seeds and all with this. I'm not going to not put seeds in it. So, <clears throat> full habanero in. Kind of get everything pushed down. Now we go back to this feller. I'm come out just a little bit with you. And this is not my mixer, so I'm not good with it. Okay, now most of you are going, you forgot the cilantro! I didn't. I always put that in last because I don't like it as fine. So we're going to go about that much right there. It says about a handful, that's a small handful. Good enough for me. Okay, so now we're gonna pop this guy off. Smells amazing. Now, this is what I would call a garden fresh salsa. Um, I prefer to cook mine, so that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so got the pan just turned on. We're going to pour this in. Let it start heating up. Smells good just like that. I know it's gonna be good, but I don't wow, well, you know what? I am gonna take a little bite. <clears throat> I wanna see what the heat level is. And then we'll do a test afterwards.
Looks like we're good there. <clears throat> gonna turn it off, let it cool just a half half second, and put it in the jar, and then we'll put it right in the fridge to get it to cool down immediately.